Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be caring for your old elderly geriatric rat. Unfortunately, rats do not have a long lifespan. So once your rat turns around 18 months, which is about a year and a half, they are considered senior citizens. The average lifespan for a rat is around two to two and a half years. Generally, female rats live a little bit longer than male rats. However, you do want to keep in mind that females are prone to a few more health problems than male rats are. I'm going to be showing off Uno here. He has just hit the 30 month mark. So he is about two and a half years old and he's definitely starting to show his age. So I just wanted to go over a few things that you might want to keep in mind when caring for your elderly rat. Don't be surprised if they start losing their fur, especially if they are one of the Rex varieties. Like Uno is a Velveteen or Rex rat and he is definitely starting to lose a lot of his hair. And he is showing some signs of hind leg degeneration. So I do randomly check his feet to make sure they're not getting scratched up or anything. And it's also a really good idea to check your elderly rat's teeth pretty regularly, maybe even a few times a week. Rats' teeth grow really quickly and when they get older, sometimes they just get a little overgrown. I have had two rats that needed to have their teeth clipped pretty much weekly when they hit the two-year mark. You may also notice some muscle wasting, especially around the hip area. Uno is also experiencing that himself. The muscle wasting can actually also cause the hind leg degeneration. I do have an old video on it, so I'll go ahead and post that below in case any of you guys are interested in watching that video. Another thing you're going to want to regularly check is their private area. Some elderly rats, especially if they end up getting a pituitary gland tumor, which I also have a video on, so I'll post that below, have a hard time at cleaning their private area. And you can just take like a lukewarm wet paper towel or a baby wipe and just kind of help clean them up down there. It's a little helpful for them. I don't really suggest giving them full baths like Uno probably could do with the bath because he does have a lot of bug grease. But he never really liked getting a bath and I don't want to stress him out at all. So the baby wipes come in handy for that as well. You also may notice the other rats in your cage help groom the old rat and I think that's really cute. However, you do want to watch out to make sure that they're not getting bullied, especially if you have really young rats. Young rats can be really annoying for the older rats, so you do want to make sure that they're not getting pestered too much. For the most part, everybody seems to leave Uno alone, except for Skye. She is really good with him and will sleep in the hammock with him and groom him. But for the most part, they seem to leave him alone. Depending on how your elderly rat is getting around, you may need to make some cage modifications. I have added ramp covers to a lot of the ramps in the cage. When a rat does get hind end or hind leg degeneration, they lose a lot of control that they have in their feet and especially their toes. So a lot of times you'll notice that their toes are constantly being curled under. And while Uno can get up the ramps without the ramp cover on, I was noticing that the top parts of his feet were kind of getting stuck in between the bars, so I did decide to go ahead and put the ramp covers on. Uno has always been a hammock dweller, and if you see in this clip here, he's trying to get up into his hammock. That's his spot. So I am going to have to adjust this hammock so that it's a little lower so he's able to climb in on his own. If you do have hammock dwellers, then you have to be careful because a lot of times they don't realize that they can't climb up into the hammock like they used to be able to. Luckily, this is the only one that he normally uses even when he was younger. He doesn't really like to use the top one that I have. So I don't really have to worry about him falling from a higher level than just here. But adding an extra shelf may be a good option if you do have the hammocks a little higher up in your cage. I will post below a link to a video from another YouTuber named Ozzy the Rat. She posted a great video on DIY shelves for your critter nation that she made out of some cooking ware. So adding extra floor space can definitely help your geriatric rat get around the cage a little bit better. There are a few other cage modifications that you may want to make, like lowering the water bottle. 
This can really help if your rat does have hind line degeneration because they can't really prop themselves up. So as you can see, Kiwi here is easily able to reach the water bottle with no issues without having to prop herself up. And if you notice that your elderly rat is kind of sticking to one area of the cage, then you probably want to move the food bowl to that area. Like Uno has pretty much stuck to this level of the cage, and I have started putting food inside the little wooden house there for him to have easy access. For the most part, he still kind of likes running around, especially when I'm cleaning the cage and everybody's out. He does tire pretty quickly, but I do feel as if it's good for him to still get out of the cage and get his body moving and get a little bit of exercise. This is also how I know that he's still doing okay. He's still eating and he's still active. Um, he's just getting a little old. Another good habit to get into is weighing your rat. I do have a full video on this, so I'll also post that one below in the description. So you can just use a regular food scale and usually it's best to weigh them in grams. It's a good idea to keep track of their weight, especially when they are getting older and you do see some muscle degeneration. This is something that you can do for all ages. Rats are prey animals, so a lot of times if they do have an illness, they will hide it and you can't tell if anything's going wrong until you see a significant weight change. In the past six months, Uno has lost about 120 grams. However, I did notice this kind of slowly happening. He would lose 3 grams here and then maybe 20 grams there. And he's still technically at a healthy weight, about 540 grams for a full-grown male rat. So I'm not too worried with his weight, especially since I can just feel that he's not really as chubby as he normally is. He's starting to get a lot of loose skin. But for the most part, he seems to be doing okay. But another thing I did want to mention was respiratory problems. When you look at all of the research and all of the websites out there dealing with rats and talking about rat care in general, when geriatric rats are mentioned, a lot of times they don't talk about respiratory issues. But from personal experience, I have definitely noticed that once the rats hit around that two-year mark, their immune systems seem to drop and they have a harder time kind of fighting off their myco. They seem to have a lot of flare-ups and especially during the springtime, Uno was on two different kinds of antibiotics. Now he currently gets a dose of doxycycline every single day in the evening time. I had mentioned this in a video before that he's probably going to have to end up taking it for life now. So that's something else that you may want to think about when caring for your elderly rat. So I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any questions, just comment below and I'll also list all of the mentioned videos in the description in case you want to check them out. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Yuri!